Hi, my name is Amanda Bilo, and I'm here to talk to you today about achondroplasia. Now, achondroplasia can be classified as a type of dwarfism, but the noun dwarf, which is originally an Old English word, but it refers to Greek mythology, and it says this, a dwarf that dwells in mountains and in earth and is associated with wisdom, mining, and crafting. But as for achondroplasium, it's a bone growth disorder, which affects almost 70% of dwarfism cases. Achondroplasia is an autosomal dominant disorder, which is caused by a faulty allele. Now, um, if a pair of achondroplasium alleles are present, the results may be fatal. Achondroplasia is a mutation of the fibrillus growth factor receptor gene 3, which deals with the regulation of bone growth. In cases of achondroplasia, the gene is too aggressive, which negatively impacts bone growth. Research by urologist Harry Feisk of the Male Reproductive Center at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital suggests that um, achondroplasia can be inherited by the father and becomes increasingly more possible in children um, with the parental age, specifically men over the age of 35. Some of the effects of achondroplasia is having a shorter stature and having one's limbs being proportionately shorter than one's abdominal area with a larger head and a prominent forehead. Achondroplasia is often diagnosed in childhood because of the visible symptoms and usually a physical examination suffices to diagnose a person. But genetic testing and diagnostic imaging is um, available to more accurately determine the condition of a person. Some other effects a person can have is orthopedic problems such as joint pain, abnormal bone alignment, or nerve compression. They also can experience scoliosis and the constriction of their spinal cord, which can cause pain, discomfort, and disability. Some forms of dwarfism can also affect the brain and the liver. Um, in the case of achondroplasia, mental function is not impaired. Dwarfism is impossible to prevent because they are genetically caused and there is no single treatment for dwarfism. Bone growth disorders, however, may be treated through surgery and hormonal disorders through medication. But it's almost impossible to treat all the symptoms. The psychosocial limitations from society can be more disabling than some of the physical symptoms and the pain that people can go through. And a lot of people experience emotional health issues during childhood and adolescence being picked on. And um, in childhood, they can experience social prejudice and that can limitate their social and marital opportunities, as well as job opportunity where numerous studies have shown this. Now, a person with a type of dwarfism can become extremely self-conscious because um, obviously the prejudice and all the stuff people associate with people with dwarfism. And they can have very low self-esteem and it can start to cause issues and strains on their family relationships. People with dwarfism often work as spectacles and entertainment and are portrayed with stereotypes, playing such roles as children and elves and goblins and hobbits in such movies as Austin Powers, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and The Wizard of Oz, and not to mention the numerous amount of Christmas movies we all watch every year. Um, to get a better understanding of a person's life living with dwarfism, you can watch TLC's Little People Big World, um, which really shows some of the hardships that they go through, but also the accomplishments they have, and that they are very capable people. And um, that's all, so thanks for watching my video. Bye!